In this video, I want to talk about paint and what's in, uh, what kind of paint do we offer and what's included in, in our standard paint jobs. You can see here I'm standing in front of um, two, different, two different bridges. Uh, this one we just freshly sandblasted. That one's completely done, ready to ship. Okay, so um, generally we, um, um, we charge painting by the square foot. Okay, so if you look at your quote, uh, you'll see the painting. So the, the typical, uh, and this is that's a 60 footer, and this is this is a 90 footer here. Uh, whenever we're charging, we bill it out per square foot for a standard paint job. Uh, so this is 90 foot long, and that's about a foot tall. Well, that's about 18 inches, but we, we'll call it a foot tall. So this one we're charging for 90 square feet for this side. Other sides also 90 square feet. So this one we're billing at 180 square feet of paint uh, and um, and that's what we'll be painting with 180 square feet so at 100 squ 180 square feet you know imagine this this is a foot tall 90 foot long right so th that doesn't include the deck the deck is is obviously many more square feet that's about 10 well this one's uh 10 foot wide 90 foot long so that would be a lot more square foot and also we're not painting up underneath now you can see we have sandblasted this here, we have sandblasted all the old paint off, and the old paint is typically in really good condition. Um, they use really quality uh, paint, but we're not painting up underneath. Now, this already has paint on it, and it looks kind of like a grayish color, but it's actually yellow. That's uh, just road grime from uh, from years of uh, of use. And and uh, so this paint is typically all in really good shape. Um, the the parts that that typically we see that aren't um, the best shape in, uh, um, when it comes to paint is maybe like up up over there. You can see where it is chipping a little bit. Um, the rest of it is actually typically pretty good. Okay, so um, but that's usually not a big deal. That that deck is like you know heck half inch thick. Um, so usually we don't we don't mess with that. But if we want to, we could. Uh, we just gotta we gotta adjust our square footage. Okay, so the, the, the base paint we charge per square foot, the guardrails we charge per linear foot because it's kind of, you know, obviously uh, guardrails are kind of funky shaped. We charge that per linear foot. So in this particular case, these are this is a 90 footer, that'd be 180 linear feet of guardrail. Um, it would be 90, 180 linear feet, 180 square feet of paint. Um, and then for, for the base paint and then uh, 180 square feet of, uh, I'm sorry, linear feet for guardrails. Okay, so two different paint charges. Because um, uh, sometimes we don't we don't have guardrails. We, we're, we're just painting the bridge. Now you look over here. Um, this bridge over here. Now uh, we'll talk about colors in a little bit. Um, you can see that C train over there that we painted. That's our typical boxcar brown. Uh, I think uh, we, well, I can show you some other examples of what our boxcar brown is. Uh, you can choose your own paint color, uh, but that is a little bit extra. Uh, so this one we would charge for um, this one. This bridge we actually widened out, so we charge per square foot all the way down for the for the actual bridge. We charge per linear foot uh, as well. So let, let's just call that. Uh, let's just say that's a foot tall. This bridge is 60 foot long. So the base um, charge for painting the bridge would be 60 times two. That'd be 120 square feet of paint uh, plus um, that's 60 feet of guardrail so it's 120 linear feet for painting the guardrails um, guardrails we just have a lot of overspray when, when we when we paint those so it's a little bit different charge when we paint the guardrails now this particular client uh, for this bridge they opted for us to also sandblast and paint all up underneath so all up underneath has also been painted but we charge more square foot because there's, you know, you can see all these angles and, and, and things. It just, it consumes a lot more paint. It's a lot more time consuming. So, so we have to, we have to price accordingly. Okay. Uh, so all this over here has also been painted. Um, but uh, whenever we paint up underneath, we stick to our standard boxcar brown. Um, if that stuff is not visible, so nobody's going to see it. Uh, we like to, you know, we like to stock a whole bunch of, of boxcar brown. And then these other custom colors, because once once we paint this, any leftover paint we have, we really can't use it on another job. It's a custom color. Um, so let me talk to you about the different types of paint real quick. Let me move somewhere else. 
Okay, this is our kind of our plain, uh, painting uh, rack that we have, or painting platform. Uh, the two tip types of paint we have is, is the Macro Epoxy 646. Uh, it's a two-part epoxy. Uh, it's super thick. It's it's super durable. It is it is the mostest, the bestest protection you can get for paint. It is really thick. It is just really sticky. It's really quite messy when we're painting it. Um, it it's, it's difficult to paint because it's a two-part epoxy. It's hard on our equipment, but it's a really good paint, and it lasts for a long, long time. So th that that's the macro epoxy. Um, and whenever, it, even when, whenever we paint, we, we always, um, you can see all this, all this, all this macro epoxy we have right now, it's just all our boxcar brown. That's what we like to stock is just boxcar brown. Okay. Um, and then the top coat, would, uh, we top coat it with this product called Surecryl, Surecryl 1300. And um, you can see all this is, uh, it's going to be tinted, uh, our, our typical boxcar brown. Um, Boxcar brown. I don't know if you can read that or not, but, but that's what we use is, is boxcar brown. It's our own tinted color. Um, now, what does it look like? Now, this you saw in the previous video what that boxcar brown looked like and was freshly applied. This is the same boxcar brown. Uh, this this thing's we painted this thing maybe ten years ago, and you can see that it has this white film on it. And if you rub it, it does leave your hands kind of. You can see if you rub it. Leaves your hands kind of powdery, uh, but you can start seeing the color underneath. Now, whenever you rub it, it doesn't affect the performance. Um, you can read the specifications from Sherwin Williams about it, so the the chalkiness doesn't affect performance, um, but it does. You know, it, it does make it chalky. It, it has no UV protection, so it, it just it just tends to chalk up. But it's a really good paint. Okay, uh, so the chalkiness doesn't affect performance, but it does give that you know that effect. Some of the good things about that is. Uh, if this is more of a public bridge, um, taggers or people riding with uh, with permanent markers don't really want to write on this because it just it doesn't write very well. Okay, uh, so that's one of the, that's one of the benefits of, of the macro epoxy by itself. The other product we use is uh, is the sure krill. Okay, the sure krill. This is uh, this is uh, this is a custom color. Uh, we had it left over and we we. You know we don't want to keep it so we just spray whatever we have so this is um it gives it a nice gloss look actually i have something else that, that we painted with this let me find it real quick okay this is another bridge that we painted uh this one's probably a month or about a month old now so it's still pretty fresh but this has the um this is has a nice shiny look to it a uh, bit of a gloss look um this is the shirt grill on top of the macro epoxy okay so usually what we like to do is we like to paint the bridge, we sandblast it, uh, we paint with a macro epoxy, then we um, then we top coat it with a shirt grill. Okay, let me let me uh, let me show you a couple of these job boxes that we kind of paint. Uh, we we spray these whenever we have extra paint. This is this is uh, just like the other job box. Um, this is just the macro epoxy. This paint job is maybe you know six years old or so. You can see it kind of chalks up, right? Um, that, that's pretty normal. Normal. This paint over here on this job box, um, that's also boxcar brown. That's over there boxcar brown. Uh, actually, even the, the forklift, that's boxcar brown with just the uh, macro epoxy, um, no, no top coat. So this is um, this box is probably three years old, the paint job on this. Uh, and this is just no macro epoxy, just a sure krill. So another option, you know, if you want, if you, uh, you can see, it kind of gets kind of messy with that chalk, with the chalkiness. If you want, um, if you want just uh, uh, an e economical paint job, um, but you want really good quality, then you use macro epoxy. Just macro epoxy, no top coat. That is uh, strong. It's durable. It's cost effective. Um, but it doesn't look the greatest after a couple of years. Okay, if you want the best paint job, you want it to perform really well and you want it to look beautiful, then you do the um, uh, epoxy, the, the macro epoxy with the shirt krill, just like that, and that gives you the best of both worlds. It's a beautiful uh, top coat um, with a beautiful epoxy underneath it. It's very durable. Now, the other option, if you want kind of a hybrid, if you want it to look good, not chalk, but you also um, want to be pretty durable, then just we can sandblast it right on top of this. After we sandblast it, we can put just this sure krill 
It's not going to be as durable as their mac macro epoxy. It's still very durable, but not as durable. Uh, and it's going to look good for a long time. Um, so it is, it's still durable, not as durable, but it's cost effective. And really the cost, we, we can do micro epoxy or the sure krill for the same price. Um, it's just, you're, 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 you're trading durability for beauty. So what's more important to you, durability or beauty? And then the next question is how much, uh, how much, uh, do you want us to paint? Like uh, on this bridge here, or uh, anything that we, we apply new, we typically want to paint this. So we, we did some repairs here, so we, we're going to paint that. But on a standard paint job, you know, we're not painting this. And we're, uh, we may fog coat this. Usually we like to fog coat. Um, we won't sandblast it. We'll just get the macro epoxy or the shirt grill. We'll just fog it on there just to make it look pretty. But it's not really sandblasted or anything. All that's going to be hidden. And it already has some pretty, some pretty decent paint on it. Um, and underneath, you can see we don't paint any of this underneath. It, uh, it's kind of muted. Nobody ever sees it. It's already painted for the most part. Um, so we don't really do anything there. You can see kind of in those areas right over here where, where it is chipping a little bit. Um, but whenever you're looking at the bridge from far away, you really don't see any of that. All you see is the, is that main beam. Yeah, you don't, it's, it's all, you do have a bit of a belly there, but you really don't see that when, when, when it's being used as a bridge. Uh, so we don't really, uh, we don't suggest that you repaint that unless you really wanted to, but it has a, even when that's painted a nice boxcar brown, you won't be able to see it. Even on this one, um, it, what you see is that is that main outside beam, but you really don't see up on anything underneath. So hopefully that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.